Hello. So let's talk about this comment real quick. I have not waited on them. I have had interactions with Brooke and ran into JFK Jr. So let's do story time. JFK Jr. real quick. This is when he was still with us. This is when, around the time I think that he, God, this goes back. He had George magazines. You guys remember that? And the offices, I believe, were in Midtown. Anyway, I ran into him a couple of times on the street in Midtown. One time, literally, we brushed into each other. The most beautiful man I have ever laid eyes on. I am not kidding you. Beautiful, had this energy about him, the way he carried himself. He had swagger, but it wasn't cocky. Delicious. If you guys remember that Seinfeld episode when Elaine ran into him on the street that day? Yeah, definitely big dick energy with him. Now, regarding Brooke. So you guys know I told you in a previous video that when I moved here, I worked in theater for a very long time. And so I used to take dance class at Broadway Dance Center with a man named Frank Hatchett, who is no longer with us. And Frank Hatchett was a very famous dancer, teacher, choreographer. His style of jazz had influences of hip hop and modern, and he was just fantastic. And I used to love taking his class and it was always like 9.30 or 10 in the morning, something like that. And so Brooke would also take his classes. Sometimes we were in class together. This one day, Brooke rolls in the class. Again, it's like 9, 30, 10 in the morning. No makeup, hair in a ponytail. Stunning. Like, stunning. It was annoying. And we start class. He is teaching us this whole rib isolation thing, which neither one of us could do at all. And so we just kept laughing at ourselves. So she comes running over to me and she whispers, of course we can't do it, the two white girls. And I was like, of course, we suck. And we started giggling and Frank looks at us and he yelled at us and we were like, ooh. She ran back to her spot and like the rest of the class, we just kept looking at each other and shaking our heads because there was no way in hell we were going to be able to get this rib isolation. Class was over. We said our goodbyes and she left. So, you know, one of the cool things about living in New York is that you never know who you're going to meet in a day and what your interactions with them are going to be. And these were two days specifically that I had great interactions and just made the day better. See you guys later.